I'd like to talk about the, er the early years in your life. Uh, you were living in Soweto, mm -hmm. and sometimes there wasn't enough food for the family, but you continued to dance and tell stories. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Um, well, I mean, for me uh, personally, uh, growing up in a township, um, it was quite an experience, obviously. Uh, part, part of it because of the apartheid um, situation that we grew up with. Um, so sometimes obviously when we don't have anything to eat, uh, in, in order for us to keep alive, we were dancing to survive. Uh, singing, playing drums and, uh, and dancing. So that be, it, it was part of our life, our daily life. How did you meet your modern dance mentor? Uh, I actually uh, started my professional dancing um, in 1990 uh, and then before that I was doing what we call a street dancing which is uh, uh, like break dancing and uh, Michael Jackson copycat <laughs> <laughs> um, and when I went to my professional level um, in 1990 uh, I actually spotted an advert uh, on the newspaper, a local newspaper called the Soweten, which is like, you know, for only for black, exclusive black people, uh, that, you know, we must come for audition for a scholarship for a year. Um, and I went to, to the auditions. Um, Sylvia by then, she was not uh, in South Africa. She was on sabbatical in the States. And she came um, later on, like, I think, just like two weeks before the graduations. Um, and that's when she spotted me, uh, saying that, you know, there was a lot of potential she saw on me, so she kept me for another one year. Can you talk about what it was like to live in the townships and then work in Johannesburg as a professional dancer? Um, you know, from the distance between the, the city and the township, it's about, ex about 20 minutes by drive by taxi. But then, you know, if you have to take a transportation which is of only for black people or what we call a black taxi, um, it will take you at least about, about an hour. But besides that, you know, the problem with uh, going to town, it was with the police and the white, with the white people, because, you know, apartheid was like a big issue. So going to town, you know, you have to be very cautious. You have to be very aware of, you know, who are you going, because people, they will arrest you for, not, for no reason. So, um, we, we had to hide ourselves, you know, going to the town, we had to hide ourselves. Um, even Sylvia herself, you know, she went to the townships. We had to, like, you know, put blankets on top of, the, on top of her and then at night. So she would be teaching most of the people at night and then we'll have to take her out of the, the, the township. So it's, it was quite a very, um, a very a difficult situation um, in the 1990s and in before. Um, and for me, you know, when, when I had to go to town, um, I was not even concerned about, you know, a policeman was going to stop me and ask me a lot of questions. If I don't answer, they will take me to jail. All I was concerned is if I can get to a dance studio. That was my, my priority.